things just got serious, man. I was actually going to sleep. It's 4 a.m. The bed's all messed up. And I don't care because Ultra Vegito Blue is rerunning. Ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Hey, yo, what the? A lot of people have been asking me about this rerun. A lot. I mean, a lot of people have been asking me about when Ultra Vegito Blue is going to rerun. And honestly, we don't have the answers. But we know now that he's rerunning and this banner is going to last for about a week. It's going from the 25th of October through to the 4th of November. So you have a small amount of time to actually pull him if you do want to summon for him. I know in most cases, people are clicking the should you summon and they've already decided that they're going to summon. Most people, are, they're, they're not going to be able to hold their temptation. It's Vegito Blue. That's understandable. But for the guys that want to use their brain for this, this is a should you summon for you guys that really want to evaluate whether it's worth summoning at this point in time. And I'll give a genuine answer whether I think it's worth it or not. Just so you know, I have him 14 stars, so I can't summon and even if I wanted to. We also have Kid Boo, so I guess I'll talk about him later, but he's like the background character in this conversation, let's be honest. All right, so cool. The first thing I wanna point out is a disclaimer. Every reason that I can think of that you should be aware of, given that they've dropped two Ultra Banners right back to back after Ultra Super Janemba only dropping last week. That's very, very wild. That must mean there's going to be some sort of hype coming very, very soon, or they're trying to take our Chrono Crystals for something. They don't do this randomly, this is definitely definitely targeted so if you think this is a hint for something big coming very very soon you're probably right let's also point out the big elephant in the room which is the fact that the festival is only next month starting around the 20th but the fact that the festival is that close common man spending your chrono crystals right now is not the wisest move let me even stack on top of that the fact that we just had an ultra super janemba rerun and the way he was looking and still is looking he's super broken right a lot of you guys would have summoned for him and that's natural there's nothing wrong with that but given that you summoned for ultra super janemba where are you gonna have your chrono crystals left to actually pull ultra vegeta Vegito Blue or Kid Boo is probably just not going to happen unless you're those lucky ones and at that point you'd be keeping your Chrono Crystals at zero consecutively and that is wild which you should really really avoid. Moving on anyways let's talk about Ultra Vegito Blue and then I'll do another segment for Ultra Kid Boo. So Ultra Vegito Blue right now he's not in the best position because there's so many blues in the game that just counter him harshly. 17, Sword of Hope Trunks, Gold Freezer, Ultra Super Janemba, Zamasu, Super Saiyan in Goku why is there so many blues that are relevant right now for one man now there's two reasons I can give you one he's actually just that good he is that good that they need all these units to take him out and honestly it's working to some degree if you use Vegito blue you would know it's very hard to get over these blues gold freezer was hard enough but they're just building up that gold freezer army but two there's probably some sort of big counter coming for all these blues very, very soon, which is why I'm saying they're putting these ultra banners out to possibly drop a bomb on the meta. But that's just speculation. That's just headcanon. I'm not saying that as a fact. It's just something you should hold on your shoulders. Let's talk about the positives. Vegito Blue, even with all those blues in the meta, him being color countered, he doesn't care. He's in almost every single game that I play. Every other game, probably at max, Vegito Blue makes an appearance on the enemy team because he's just that good. People might have the argument to say, well, he's the anniversary unit. People spend their Chrono Crystals on him. They're obviously going to use him. But I have a counter to that to say, in last year's anniversary, Ultra Super Vegito was the anniversary Ultra and Final Form Cooler literally just stomped him. And after Cooler came out, Super Vegito was nowhere to be seen. You've seen all these blues in the game, but Vegito Blue is still somewhere to be seen. And that just shows that he is a much more valuable unit in the game to the point where even all these blues cannot stop him. Whereas Ultra Super Vegito, it took one unit and he was out of there. So it's not just a popularity contest, even though that is an amazingly big factor. Vegito Blue is honestly just that good. Now, if I'm being honest about Ultra Vegito Blue, I don't think it's the best decision to summon on him, even though he's just that good. But if you don't have a copy on him, you've probably already made your bed. You know you're going to summon for him. I won't actually be against summoning for one copy. One copy could do you justice and help you so largely in PvP. You don't even understand. Even though he's a red with all these blues around, I still think it's worth it to get one copy. But you'd be digging yourself a very very deep hole putting yourself in a very bad position if you go for that copy so in general i'm advising against summoning 
Vegeta Blue is not the one that you should be chasing right now. There are bigger fish to fry if I'm being honest and Vegeta Blue will definitely rerun again simply because he's an ultra, summed up ultra at that. We might even get an ultra banner where other ultras are on the banner as well. So that's a possibility I want to put out there. So if you're feeling desperate, take it easy, man. Take it easy. There will be a time for you. Now, next up, we got Ultra Kid Boo. Ultra Kid Boo rerunning at this time is actually the thing that makes most sense because Ultra Super Janemba is a regeneration unit, the best ultra in the game. Regeneration's on the come up. All of a sudden, Orange Piccolo is doing good. Sagas from the movies are on the featured boost right now as well because of the new update starting from this Wednesday. The Kid Boo banner runs the same time as the Vegito Blue banner, so it will be from the 25th of October through to the 4th of November. He is the perfect partner for Janemba. However, I also feel like it's very, very unwise mm. to summon on Kid Boo, even though he will be perfect for Janemba. You gotta think about the future real harshly. Now, unless you're gonna just avoid things in the future and just focus on building a certain team, for example, if you wanna be a regen main. Kid Buu and Janemba will carry you for a long time and I'm not even joking. You might need two or three copies, but if you stick to those guys, they will carry you for a decent amount of time. That's not even a joke. Vegito Blue, he's been carrying me for a long time because I use Future with Rose. So those are my two ultras. Almost every insane team uses two ultras in most cases anyways. Not all of them, most of them just have LLs anyways, but I'm just giving these two as an example because they're the two that are really running. So for the similar reasons as Vegito Blue, I really just say you shouldn't summon but if you did want to summon for him he'll be an amazing partner for Janemba one copy won't hurt as well but if you're chasing that copy you'll be digging yourself a very deep hole but again I know already a lot of people have made their bed so if you decided to already summon cool good luck but hey you know it's gonna put you back a lot especially moving forward for the festival but I will say they are going to give out Chrono Christmas in the festival now just something I want to add to the end of the video in case those people that are summoning get shafted somebody might return to this video I don't no, but in the festival they will give out a lot of chrono crystals anyways so if you're one of those people that really want these units i'm not against you taking risks in my opinion if you don't take the risk you'll never know if you would have got them and that's just how summoning works that's how gacha games work so if you do want the unit you should definitely go ahead and try to chase them and that's the bottom line of the game at the end of the day but i'm just advising because i know how the year works we're in the fifth year there's patterns that i can see so from my expertise in a sense or experience of playing the game, I'm just trying to advise people so they don't go through a rough patch because legends be doing people dirty, I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, Festival will give out a bunch of Chrono Crystals so if you feel like you're suffering now, you won't be suffering later on. Just be aware of the amount you're going in on these banners because right now there's three Ultra banners in the game, Ultra Super Janemba. I think Ultra Super Goji is there as, as, as well, so four Ultra Kid Boo, Ultra Vegito Blue. There's a lot going on, so take it easy. If you're summoning, good luck. <laughs> if you're saving, even better, but take it easy as well because the temptation is high. I'm going to leave the video like that, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Good luck, whoever you are, bro. Good luck on whatever you decide to do again. Press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 70,000 subscribers. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.